I came across a um, fast that uh, looks kind of exciting. So I've been doing dabbling in carnivore and my favorite meal has literally been beef with butter on it. And I've been eating a lot of it, not exclusively. If you watch my other video, you've seen that I've fallen off the wagon and somewhat kicked myself out of ketosis slash need to get back in. So I'm going to do a beef and butter fast. This is this thing I found, a link in the notes um, where I found some really great information about what it does for you. And um, lots of people use this beef and butter fast to get back into a strong level of ketosis. Also super great for inflammation and just kickstarting um, a better level of the hunger hormones that help control your appetite and let, let you know that you're full. So I have a whole lot of beef, a whole lot of beef. Um, as I've mentioned in my previous carnivore video, we are super blessed because my mother-in-law owns a ranch, I guess, or, or a small farm with cows on it and so every year or so we get like half a cow or a whole cow however much cow we need we pretty much have so our freezer is full of grass-fed beef all the time so this is kind of just a perfect situation uh so with the beef and butter fast you are literally eating beef with butter melted on it um, so I have tons, tons of packages of this ground beef. Um, I'm going to plan on eating about two pounds of ground beef a day. Uh, in the beginning, maybe the first day, I like to this morning, I will be eating um, probably two pounds today and I'll be eating three meals. And then as I get back into a stronger level of ketosis, I will skip breakfast and possibly supper depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, so obviously this isn't a true fast, you're just, cause you are feeding your body. But what it is doing is just, like I said, it's kind of cleaning up some stuff in your digestive, helping with your hormones and getting you back into deep ketosis. So what does it look like? So I'm literally frying up a whole bunch of ground beef today to make it through today and tomorrow probably. And then with every cup or so of ground beef, you're adding a big dollop of butter to just increase your fat levels. And through that, your body will definitely learn that fat is fuel and will learn to take um, fat from your body. So I fell off the wagon pretty bad. My weight this morning is 210.6. So we'll see, I'm going to commit to five days of doing this way of eating. Uh, should be no problem. I might even go straight till Friday, which would make it six days. Uh, the usual suggestion is anywhere between three and five, but because I've been dabbling in carnivore, I don't know really what's different except for the higher amount of fat. And it tastes really good. Um, Hopefully it continues to taste good after eating it two or one or two times a day for the next five days or six days, we'll see. But I'm really excited for the results. It's not that I've necessarily plateaued, it's because I've literally put on some inflammation weight from eating not great. And so that's what's happening. Beef and butter fast, today is day one. And um, yeah. Here's the first two pounds of ground beef in the pan. I'm literally just going to season it with some garlic. I love garlic, so definitely like a healthy amount of garlic on top. Um, and then I use the Redmond's Real Salt. I just have some in the shaker, so I'm just going to... Add a bunch of salt so I get my electrolytes in here. Shake it, shake it, shake it, literally. And um, that's it. That's all I'm going to be adding into my ground beef. And um, looking forward to my first 
meal. Um, I live in Canada, so grass-fed butter is hard to come by. All you people with access to carry gold are super lucky. Um, if you are in a grocery store and you see grass-fed butter, that's for me, generally, maybe I shop in the wrong grocery stores, but it's definitely not the usual. So just using whatever salted butter I found at the grocery store. Um, yeah, Canada has a pretty, pretty good food system. Most dairy cows are mostly grass-fed anyways, so I don't feel too bad about not having necessarily the grass-fed butter. Okay, so beef is ready. Um, and so the ratio is pretty uh, simple to remember. Uh, this ground beef is something like probably close to like 85 or 90 percent um, because it's grass fed, hard to, and like family raised grass fed. So I. I just going to take one cup and then I'm actually going to do two cups for breakfast because I am, like I said, I'm kind of falling out of ketosis so I just want to eat and feel satiated um, for, for this day ahead. Uh, we have some projects we're doing around the house today so I'm going to start my day with two cups. Uh, I also am going to be trying to focus on getting like 2,000 calories a day. Uh, that might seem like a lot, but I um, actually am still a nursing mom, so I need to make sure that my calories don't slip too low. Um, put away the butter for some reason. So the ratio, like I said, was, this is going to seem like a ton of butter, because um, I'm taking literally like the first like slice of this. So the amount of butter you want to add to a beef and your beef and butter dish. The amount of butter that you're adding to your beef and butter is a tablespoon of butter to half a cup of beef. So if I have four cups of beef, that would mean, no, it's, I have two cups of beef, then I would need to have four tablespoons of butter, 15 mils, in a tablespoon, which means I get literally this line that says 62 mils, is pretty much right on the money. So I'm just gonna pop that giant amount of butter off the brick and drop it in here. Uh, the beef is warm, so it should melt. Uh, I'm super, I'm super excited to eat this breakfast, and uh, yeah, so I'll check in later with, you know, my next meal of the day. It's lunch time now and I'm reheating uh, the beef that we didn't finish at breakfast actually. I was only able to eat about half of it and I was only able to eat about half of the beef from this morning so lots left over um, not feeling necessarily super hungry, but I, I need to make sure I get my calories in. So yeah, I'm going to eat what I can and not eat like more than my body is like willing to eat, but hopefully I can get through most of it. Um, tonight we are going over to my mother-in-law's for supper and I'm going to eat chicken and butter um because she's going to have chicken there and i'll just add butter to that so obviously the beef and butter fast is mostly beef but i think as long as you're eating a lean meat with butter it's fine i i've, se I've seen a few people switch up the meat protein a little bit um i don't have any reaction to chicken any different than i would with beef so yeah, protein, lots of fat. I'm gonna call it still beef and butter. Um, yeah, so I'll just touch in before um, I go to bed. And uh, yeah, I'll update you guys 
um, on day three and maybe on day six after I've completed the five days. Um, yeah, talk to you in a bit. So I'm sitting here editing the beef and butter video and I said that I would check in after and I didn't. So uh, I ended up actually still eating a lot of beef. Uh, my mother-in-law made a roast for us. So I had a roast and then she also made pork roast. Um, totally love how she's embracing uh, my carnivore journey. Pretty awesome. So I had some pork, a little bit of chicken, and a lot of the beef roast. It was delicious. I'm going to have to get the recipe from her. And yeah, so that's basically it. Like this video if you like beef or butter, or beef and butter, then you should subscribe. Um, so you can find out how this all works out after day five. Um, that's all I got. I'll uh, see you on the other side of these five days. Bye.